Coming up on today's episode of Airborne NextJet, Uavionics Technology builds drone-first responder applications, Japan Coast Guard purchases two Sea Guardians, and New York City using loudspeaker drones for flood warning. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. UAVionics Technology Builds Drone First Responder Applications. UAVionics confirmed that their Cassia G will soon be able to support nighttime operations. This development will significantly expand its utility for drone as first responder programs. The Cassia G is a ground based detect and alert system. It employs artificial intelligence and computer vision technology to monitor airspace and prevent mid air collisions with UAS. The device has an average single node range of 2,126 meters, but can be paired with more nodes to cover large areas. With a 360-degree field of view and aircraft classification capabilities, the Cassia G can help to protect UAS operations from intruder aircraft. In light of modern developments, the use of DFR programs has become increasingly popular. After receiving a call, emergency services can send a drone to scope out the scene before entering. This provides necessary situational awareness to police and fire personnel and guarantees an efficient and safe response. Systems like the Cassia G enhance these DFR applications, allowing them to be used beyond visual line of sight. Drone pilots are able to launch from a remote location, putting distance between responders and a potentially dangerous situation. UAVionics's Cassia G has been used in support of DFR operations since its launch. Currently, however, the device is only certified for daytime visual meteorological conditions. After the break, $72 million judgment against Boeing overturned. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. $72 million judgment against Boeing overturned. A federal judge agreed with Boeing's challenges of a jury verdict and nullified the $72 million awarded by the jury to Zunum Aero. Zunum, a Seattle aviation startup, was attempting to develop a hybrid electric airplane and in 2017 entered a partnership with Boeing, where Boeing advanced Zunum $9 million in loans. The startup was unable to gain any traction and ended up suspending its operations in 2019. Archer Aviation and Future Flight Global sign MOU Future Flight Global and Archer Aviation have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the planned purchase of up to 116 Archer Midnight aircraft. The deal is worth up to $580 million for Archer, bringing its indicative order book to about $6 billion. The companies are now formalizing definitive agreements on the purchases and strategy operating alliance. SmartSky Networks moves into early retirement. 
Effective August 16, 2024, Smart Sky Networks has ceased all business operations. The provider ultimately stated that they were unable to continue to finance their mission. Smart Sky released a statement saying, quote, while our products were groundbreaking and we were growing our market share, we ultimately could not secure the necessary financing to continue our mission. We hope that Smart Sky's achievements have inspired others to dream big, push boundaries, and pursue transformative ideas to reshape the future. End quote. SpaceX rebuts CNBC story about flame deflection system. SpaceX has rebutted a story on CNBC stating that SpaceX violated environmental regulations by releasing pollutants into bodies of water near the company's Starbase launch site near Brownsville, Texas. SpaceX posted its response to the story on X. The company said, quote, CNBC's story on Starship's launch operations in South Texas is factually inaccurate, end quote. The post described in detail how the launch site's flame deflector system operates by using potable water to diffuse heat and vibrations from the firing rocket engines during static engine tests and launches. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Japan Coast Guard purchases two Sea Guardians. The Japan Coast Guard has purchased two additional Sea Guardian remotely piloted aircraft from General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, Inc. The MQ-9B Sea Guardian is capable of medium-altitude long-endurance flight up to 24 hours. JCG deploys and operates Sea Guardian from the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force Air Station Hachinohe, primarily conducting maritime wide area search over the Sea of Japan and the Pacific Ocean. Missions include search and rescue, disaster response, and maritime law enforcement. Sea Guardian contains a multi-mode maritime surface search radar with inverse synthetic aperture radar imaging, automatic identification system receiver, and high-definition full-motion video sensor with optical and infrared cameras. The sensors enable live detection and identification of service vessels over thousands of square nautical miles. Robert Shuffling, Vice President of International Strategic Development at GAASI, said, quote, Sea Guardian is the world's premier asset for performing MWAS. We're proud to support the government of Japan's policy to strengthen its maritime security, end quote. After these messages, New York City using loudspeaker drones for flood warning. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. New York City using loudspeaker drones for flood warning. New York City has added a new tool to warn residents about threatening weather and flooding, drones. Drones equipped with loudspeakers now buzz around areas of the city where severe weather or flooding is forecast to hit, warning residents to take shelter or evacuate. The drones are in addition to the types of alerts and warnings most of us are familiar with, such as radio, television, text, and social media. There's also a system in place to send alerts that reach more than 2,000 community-based organizations serving people with disabilities and senior citizens. Teams of emergency management personnel, each with several UASs, deploy to specific areas of the city and neighborhoods that are known to be prone to flooding. 
and play the warning messages in multiple languages. People living in garden or basement level dwellings are especially vulnerable to danger from flooding. An example of what the UASs are programmed to sound out is, quote, be prepared to leave your location. If flooding occurs, do not hesitate, end quote. Basement apartments have been especially dangerous because they fill with water very quickly and heavy rain. New York City had 11 people drown in such dwellings in 2021 as the last of Hurricane Ida made its way across the city. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.